What is going on guys? One more saying bring guys a brand new video. I'm so hyped to be bringing you this video today. Last week I brought y'all a video talking about my return to making music. And this week is the return of my music. And I am so hyped to be bringing you guys my new song, Stay. I've been working on this song since January of this year. Picking away at it over the year. Listen, I've been listening to it since spring semester of last year on my phone. And just taking notes and really just tweaking it. And just taking time to really nurture it, as I said in the last video. And make sure it doesn't suck. At least I hope it doesn't suck. I hope it's good and I hope you all enjoy it. So I'm just going to take this video to talk about the song a little bit. And talk about the meaning behind the song. Some stuff that the song is going to spur on. First thing is, this is my first song since Ripped Away of last year. It's a big difference in the song. In the style of song. But it's also reminiscent kind of of the old music. And I believe this song is the perfect one to kickstart this next version of my music. Because, like I said, it it's very different but also pays a little similar style to the old stuff so I think it's a nice bridge piece to kind of get us from here to here where we're going to keep trudging forward with the new music it starts off kind of with that slow melodic kind of it's a breakup song again it kind of builds on the emotion throughout the song rather than in some songs in the past it kind of stays on like one level the whole song and whether the song is good or not it kind of stays on one level this one builds as the song goes on and eventually has an if you're a film person because I'm a film I'm gonna say it has a three-act structure you have the beginning the middle and the end and I believe this song tells a whole story it tells about a whole transformation that did happen it's a true story based on a true story um, the song was actually written not after anything had happened this song was written after driver's license by Olivia Rodrigo came out and I was like man that's a cool song I bet I could write a song like that so I was out hunting with my friends one night and I was sitting passenger side in a truck and I was like man I, I want to write a song so I just went into my notes app on my phone and I typed down what you will hear Friday being the chorus of the song went home that night after we finished hunting and wrote the whole song that night found the music I'm like damn now let's get to work and that's exactly what happened and because I'm very open that it came to be because of driver's license spoiler alert the first lyric of the song is driving down your street just it was my little way of just like tipping the hat to Olivia Rodrigo because her song inspired this one and the song would not exist if driver's license didn't exist so that was just my way of saying thank you Olivia for giving me this song and you know I love driver's license and I love stay I feel like they can go uh, back to back if you want to make a playlist of a sad songs to drive to make driver's license and make stay and then add on some other ones so I really started recording a song in January February of this year and had pretty much the version you hear now complete and then just kind of picked away at parts in the middle kind of made sure the choruses sounded good make sure the verses sounded good I actually re-recorded the verses about a month ago and they're pretty much the same as they were it's more just the way I've learned over the year how to use the mic better and how to sing with the mic better but other than that this song has basically been in this finished state for probably about six or seven months now I just want to take plenty of time to really nurture it before I release it to the world and I do feel like it is the best song to kickstart this next group of music and um, the next songs are going to be more, definitely different in style because I kind of know what the next songs are going to be I really do want y'all to enjoy the song just listen to the lyrics it's it's written like I said it's written on a true story I was in a relationship um, 2018 and then kind of spurred itself on again in 2019 and you know when you it was one of the it was the first relationship I'd had and you know they always say those first ones stick with you and those kind of haunt you a little bit and you know yeah you do have those haunting thoughts you know when you had like the lonely hours or the down bad times and you're just like man you know what if that didn't go wrong or what if maybe if I went back to it you know what could go so wrong and I think this song is irony because it's talking about stay but I feel like to me it was the final nail in the coffin that got me over that whole situation and that person I'm open to saying you know, as a songwriter I think we're more vulnerable in our emotions and we 
kind of get attached to things more than your typical person would because we grasp ourselves onto anything that gives us any type of inspiration and really just jump with that and I think that it's a blessing and a curse and you know the curse is that it sticks with us and you know you're kind of like always looking for inspiration and you're just like man what if this had gone differently was it my fault you know did I do something wrong was I in the wrong and you had those all those thoughts and like man if I just apologize right now maybe the world resets itself and kicked back and started. And those those were thoughts that happened for probably like a year and a half ish after um, I got out of that last thing. But this song was really me finally just kind of coming to terms with what happened, accepting what happened, and being like, you know, it is well overdue time to move on. So this that's what this song is about. It's just really it's like moving on, finding, finally realizing that that situation's never coming back. And I don't need it to come back. I don't want it to come back. And the last thing I want in the world is for it to come back. This song is just about, you know, it's time for me to move on and find someone else. Find something else. Find what makes me happy now. And you know, that's where I am in life now. But yeah, this song is just, it's very personal to me. The uh, funny thing about it is the ending of the song is kind of a broken down version of the second half of the course. What you hear is from the very first recording I did of this song. I started crying when I recorded the ending. Originally, I'm like, you know, that's not perfectly on key. But then listening back to it as over the months, I was like, you know, I think that makes it better that it's not perfect and that it is that raw, crackly voice state. And I think it really translates to the song. And I think it's the way to end. it's because it's the very ending of the song. You literally end on that voice. There's no music after it. And that's the last thing you hear. And I think it's going to resonate with you when you hear it and you're like I feel the emotion in that which I hope you do maybe you don't I don't know but this song is just saying you wish that person could say you wish you had another day to be with that person but at the end of the day you realize they're not coming back and it's time to move on and build our new next chapter of life and now we're talking about what the song spurs on the song ignites of course the next time of my music but it also will begin a music video uh, some of y'all might have seen I teased the script for the music video a couple weeks ago. We haven't shot it yet. Um, we do know what it's going to look like, and it's going to be cool. It's going to be kind of toned down, but it's going to be it's going to have multiple scenes. It's going to tell a story. Um, how far this story goes in this music video, I haven't decided yet. It's a couple factors depending on that. But we have some cool scenes we're going to set up for this. It's going to be really cool. I can't tell you when the music video is coming because I don't know. Because going to film it, I'm going to take plenty of time to edit it and really nurture that video so I would say sometime in November you'll get the music video along with probably the next song they'll probably come out very close to each other I'm excited so I hope you all are excited I'm just thrilled to be releasing music again rebranding everything and um, you notice on this song the old logo is here the old WM logo it's still there don't get if you're attached to it start peeling yourself away because I'm not going to guarantee anything but I am looking at getting a new logo made, and really rebranding everything about what I do. Just be on the lookout for some new logos, or if you have any cool new logo ideas, I am open. You know, I, I want something cool, something that's memorable, something that really going to pop out when people see it. Only one requirement has to be yellow. So, uh, yeah, this was just a video of me talking about my song, and I'm excited for it. I'm just, I'm excited. Um, I'm happy. And the song is so good, at least I think it is. And I hope you also think it's good. So make sure this Friday, October 29th, go buy the song, stream the song, view the song on YouTube, go like it, you know, share it, add it to your playlist. It's a sad song. I know you all have your sad playlist. This song will be great for those. Let me know what y'all think of the song when it comes out this Friday. And my name is Will Morse. Make sure to check out State is Friday, and I'm out.